I just want to thank each and every one of you that are here today standing up for freedom and liberty and whoever thought that we would have to say enough is enough all businesses are essential yep. enough is enough so thank you to Jerry thank you to Doug and Rob and Judy it's so wonderful to be here with you in Franklin County I'm State Senator Kristen Phillips Hill and I have the great honor of serving the constituents of the 28th district which covers the southern portion of your county and what you see here today are legislators community leaders business leaders everyday people who are ready to reopen Pennsylvania and get back to work we know that protecting public health and protecting our economic health. They are not mutually exclusive goals. And we're standing here in front of Alpha Fitness, a fitness center forced to shut its doors because of the governor's arbitrary life-sustaining business list. A small business that, as he told us, recently received multiple citations for simply trying to resume operations to earn a paycheck and to help other people maintain their physical and mental health. And over the last several weeks, my colleagues here and I, we've had to explain to people that we represent the governor's arbitrary and subjected method of closing certain businesses and picking winners and losers. And the truth is, we simply can't explain it. How do we explain it? We have wanted to work with the governor. We have tried to work with the governor. We have sent him bill after bill after bill. Reasonable, responsible, they've been vetoed. And we have to answer to our constituents to explain these arbitrary policies over and over again. We have been trying to do the people's business, to try and lead by providing a clear direction forward, by safely, intelligently, and responsibly reopening our Commonwealth. You heard Jerry. Jerry said he's going to use very objective guidelines established by the Centers for Disease Control on keeping his business clean and his patrons healthy. I've recently put out a co-sponsor memo and will be introducing the legislation very shortly, Senate Bill 1183, that would allow gyms and fitness centers, ones just like Alpha Fitness, to safely reopen. This legislation's genesis is in large part thanks to Marie, who owns Model A Fitness Athletic Club in Delta, Pennsylvania, and Brittany, who owns Black Powder CrossFit in Dallastown, Pennsylvania. And to the myriad of constituents in the 28th District who shared with me, they want to get back to their fitness routines. <laughs> these entities, they should be able to make these decisions for themselves. They can only allow a few customers in at a time. They can follow CDC guidelines. They can begin to make a living for themselves again. These are places where our citizens go to get healthy, and they should remain an option for everyone during these trying times. Look, both the governor and the Secretary of Health have acknowledged the importance of safeguarding the physical and mental health of all Pennsylvanians. And that is exactly what gyms and fitness facilities provide for so many Pennsylvanians. <laughs> These facilities, they play a key role in boosting the health of our communities. And like many other businesses that have remained shuttered throughout the state, we know they can safely reopen, and they can reopen now. Woo! So to the governor, we say, instead of calling the good people of Pennsylvania cowards, please focus on your mission, and that is protecting vulnerable populations, like our seniors in our nursing homes. Don't attack people 
who are trying to put food on their table by helping others stay fit and healthy. Don't shift the focus. Governor, sign our bills, look at your numbers and your metrics, work with the legislature, and let's allow the very good people of Pennsylvania to start to put their lives back together. We can preserve public health, we can preserve our economic health, we can do it at the same time, they're not mutually exclusive goals. Jerry, thank you for standing up for what is right.